Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome to today's quick jailbreak update video. By no surprise, a lot of you probably know exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. Just a few days ago, we heard rumors of this happening, and by no surprise, today, KeenLab has demoed an iOS 12.1 jailbreak on the iPhone XS Max, and they shared this video of the actual conference right here. It's a video of a video, as KeenLab themselves were just demonstrating exactly what they were doing to jailbreak the iPhone XS right here, but they basically started the video off and they went into the iPhone XS Max's settings, showing it was on iOS 12.1, the latest flagship version of iOS on Apple's latest flagship phone. They then scroll over to their second page of apps and go into this side-loaded app that says KeenLab. It has the KeenLab logo, the little KL. Inside, they have the jailbreak utility. They click jailbreak, and pretty much the rest of the video explains how KeenLab was able to jailbreak their phone and exactly what was going on in the background, how it's exploiting the kernel to get root read and write privileges. Essentially, the jailbreak utility finishes up and the next line of code comes up right there in the terminal window, essentially showing that Lan Chang has successfully achieved root read and write access. Now he went on to say in this video, his iOS 12.1 remount is not quite finished. It doesn't work. So while he has root read and write access, he can't actually get Cydia or any source code to run on the iPhone. So that was pretty interesting. There was this video of the actual conference and then right down below on Vangelis' Twitter account has the actual video that you just saw. Um, during the conference. This was basically the same exact thing. If you guys wanted to see it in a little bit higher detail, I'll go ahead and link this post and the other one down below in the comments section. But again, it's really impressive that the iPhone XS Max has been jailbroken on iOS 12.1. Don't expect a release from KeenLab. They don't typically release their jailbreak utilities. More so, this just proves that it's possible. But what I thought was most interesting about this video and the other one is that KeenLab themselves being a security research team have yet to be able to come up with a successful remount on iOS 12.1. So, in the end, this just proves that we might actually have a fighting chance for an iOS 12 jailbreak, but it's most likely going to happen first on iOS 12.0 and iOS 12.0.1, not so much on iOS 12.1. And while I bring that up, if I go to Safari, as of recording this video, iOS 12.0.1 is still being signed by Apple. The signing window is going to be closing very soon, so if you guys have yet to downgrade from iOS 12.1 to iOS 12.0, 0.1, definitely do that as soon as possible. But these are very exciting times when security research teams are demoing their iOS 12 jailbreaks. It means we're one step closer to that of a publicly released iOS 12 jailbreak. Again, like I said, it's most likely going to be for iOS 12.0 and 12.0.1 as those firmwares don't have the remount issue iOS 12.1 is suffering from. Anyway, guys, it's easy to say to downgrade from iOS 12.0 to iOS 12.0.1 if you're on a newer firmware. It's really hard to say whether you should upgrade or not from iOS 11. In the end, it's up to you if you want to update or not. I just want to bring you guys this video letting you know an iOS 12.1 jailbreak has successfully been demoed by KeenLab. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.